Hi everyone, and so today I just wanted to give a quick comment about DeepSeek because there's a lot of people who are following the, the AI news and are kind of probably noticing that the, the word on the street today is about DeepSeek and how it's a uh, AI um, game changer and so forth and it has even had arguably <clears throat> an effect on the stock market, uh, especially in America with, uh, with panic panic strewn people selling off all their uh, stock in Nvidia and and other things because of this um, game changing tech so I wanted to give you my perspective on that so firstly for those who haven't seen the news deep seek is a uh, Chinese uh, creation which is actually a side project of a, of a bunch of mathematical uh, commercial based modelers who've been creating a set of systems um, that and as a kind of a, an edge project, side project, they've created this um, uh, AI model that's much faster and much more capable than ChatGPT. And so <clears throat> the, the question is, bear in mind they did that for $5 million, um, why has OpenAI spent hundreds of millions of dollars to create something that isn't as powerful as what's just come out in the last few days? And so that hence the panic, hence everyone's kind of losing their, their stuff. So. A couple of things. Firstly, I'm amazed that it's amazing that the question is how could someone do something that's better, faster, cheaper, stronger, when that's the only thing that happens in tech. So in tech, over time, things get cheaper and faster and more capable. And that's the thing that, that happens, right? So if your moat, M-A-O-T, if your moat, your protective um, lake around your castle. If your if your moat is, oh, we're going to outspend everyone else, then that's um, a very questionable strategy. Or if your moat is, from ChatGPT's standpoint, um, we're going <clears> to <throat> we've got the best computing power. That's why we're the best. Um, you're it's pretty fragile because someone comes along with a better computer or or some finds out that the way that computing works is what's called um, kind of uh, Moore's law which is that uh, every year the capacity or the capability of a chip doubles and the price halves so um, any form of moat or any form of argument that an existing structure is good enough because it's um, a better computer or we've spent more money is 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 never actually going to win I mean it's the fact that people are are, are losing their their um, patience now and and panicking is is inc astonishing to see um, a fundamental misunderstanding of technology what deep seek isn't doing and what open a i not are not doing or inflection perplexity any <coughs> a co-pilot google apple uh, apple intelligence none none of these firms <coughs> are missing the uh, and none of these firms are actually hitting the point that matters, actually. Uh, and the point that matters is that these models should be owned by each individual. <clears throat> and of course, that goes against all of their commercial uh, structures. So what's happened is that uh, a company uh, have created a, a, a cheaper version of ChatGPT and are um, are now shaking the world of AI. And what that means is, yep, another company is sucking loads of public data into a model that can then be monetized and modified and censored and um, and coerced and manipulated and stuff. That's what it means. It's like, hooray, it's a cheaper way of doing the same fundamental abuse of human rights with our private data as before. Epic. To some extent, one of the things that I'm happy about with with, uh, with the new news um, is that people are realizing that decentralization of compute, i.e. lots of, lots of different individual nodes doing a bit of the work, um, is more efficient than one massive node, one massive computer doing all of the work. So yes, decentralized technology is the answer in terms of um, compute efficiency. 
but also decentralized technology is likely to be the answer in terms of each individual one of us being a node on that network and having sovereignty over that node and a node is just a point of a network so don't don't be uh, confused by the tech speak there but each of us are i believe our own sovereign actors we are we are own uh, we should have our own agency our own uh, control over what our information uh, is used for so decentralized tech is great for uh, more efficient computing it's needed for sovereign technology and so we will always hear and see news stories of new artificial intelligence discoveries and I will uh, gratefully of course as always get them sent from um, lovely friends and family and investors have you seen this does this change everything um, and the, the irony is is that what would change everything is when there's a sea change of technologies that are coming around coming out that are all about our individual rights to our own information and our own personal language models that would change everything but not from the standpoint of oh no what happens to self now does that mean that we are um uh dead in the water uh, the opposite actually i i would require um far 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 more technologies to be aiming in this direction uh, rather than thinking that self is the answer to it all um, it's a very strange situation where mostly in business you're competitive because you're the only person standing heads and head and shoulders above the rest no one can touch you or compete with you and it's like that's not the competition we're in firstly the competition is between us and our potential that's the that's the thing i'm concerned about that's the gap i'm concerned about secondly the competition is about um sovereign technology that we individually control and own versus large technology conglomerates seeking dominion and control through the abuse of human rights that's the competition so if you find something that comes out from any part of the world in any form of technology that is on our side of history then then celebrate that buy into that invest share and populate that um, because we need that market to be big <laughs> we don't the, there's if, if someone came up with something that was trying to do the same thing as we are it's like thank goodness it's like having a high street with two banks as opposed to one bank this is good that means the industry's growing um anyway i hope this helps it's a bit of perspective and i'm sure a lot of this stuff is kind of too technical um but remember this is not about the tech this is nothing to do with um cool geek speak about stuff this is about whether who who ultimately in the big question who should have the power? <clears throat> who should have the computing power? Who should have the ability to monetize? Who should have the ability to control and decide? That's the question. And the answer that that I believe is uh, is the, the right one is, is us individual self. Uh, I don't believe that that should be uh, large corporations who sell our information to the highest bidder without us knowing. Uh, that's it. I um, hope this helps and I shall see you guys and girls soon. Cheers.